for myself, as I said on the show, um, I have struggled my whole entire life with my own mental wellness, my mental stability. I have chosen decisions in my life that I now regret um, because I didn't have amazing um, conversations like this when I was younger or amazing people that work at It Get Better to even speak to. So the conversation that we are going to have today with all these amazing people that I got the honor to get to know on the show and off the show is very important. The pandemic has been a really incubational time for self-reflection, um, not just for trans and non-binary people, but for everybody in general. Um, being able to step away from everything and being expected to be by yourself and not around other people provides a lot of time for self-reflection. And in the context of being trans and non-binary, it provides a time to self-reflect on that. Um, and just a sidebar point to clarify for anybody who might not know, because I only recently found this out last year, um, trans and non-binary are distinct uh, identities. They can overlap. It can be like a Venn diagram. Somebody can identify as both trans and non-binary like myself, um, but they are distinct overlapping experiences. Um, but yeah, so when you step away from interacting with people, you step away from gender. Gender is a social construct. It's a social performance. And being able to um, distinguish yourself between your performance and yourself really allows for some self-exploration. I think that has some very positive developmental effects for young people and like me having experienced that. I've now been able to turn my passions into something to support my mental health, which has been super cool uh, because as someone who's always been a very strong and firm believer of therapy, the one thing that I've always been told is what some ways we can cope. And that was always something that really drove me crazy because I was never good at coping. I didn't want to sit. I didn't want to write about my feelings. But then when I thought about it, I thought, mm, I can make this into a song. Maybe I did want to sit and write about my feelings all of a sudden. You know what I mean? And although there's so many stories and things that people would never understand or uh, know just by listening the first time um, Emerald City, I also have a music video that I then accompanied it and I was able to put in a lot of things that you wouldn't know by just listening to the lyrics. So yeah, music and music especially, but um, all kind of performing and creative aspects in my life has been a really good way to support my mental health and express myself and kind of be like, hey, this is what I'm going through. I can't tell you with the words I want to tell you, but this is my way of telling you. There were days where I just felt so alone um, and so isolated and I never thought it would end. Um, I survived though, I mean, I'm here. Um, but honestly, what helped me um, was surrounding myself with queer culture and community. Um, for me, it was through music. Um, I'm so passionate about learning about queer history, um, all the queer activists who came who have come before me um, and shows with queer people, um, seeing representation in other people. Um, with my school GSA, I was able to find a safe space on how to express myself, but also um, express myself around other people who are going through the same thing and seeing that it's a normal thing to have like, to feel bad sometimes. And you're not struggling through these things alone. There are people who love you and who will be by your side. And you just have to find those people because they're there. I genuinely... Um couldn't see much for me. I didn't see much purpose. Um, and so uh, it took a lot of self-love. It took a lot of um, searching um, for people who loved and appreciated me for who I am to know that I'm worthy and that there is so much more, there is so much more coming, that there is greatness that um, is available out there that's headed my way. Um, there was one thing I used to always tell myself was, I am the black Barbie. Um, and just that saying, just, it just basically goes to say that like, 
I am capable of doing anything that I believe I can do as long as I apply myself and believe in myself. And whenever I wake up every day, I remind myself that like, I am, I'm that girl. Like I can do anything I believe in as long as, again, I apply myself and believe in myself um, and trust that the world will guide me to whatever is for me. This has been so impactful, so appreciative. And it's because of important conversations that we've had today that we're able to hopefully empower others and we're truly able to shine a spotlight on the importance of addressing mental health discourse.